Question 7. Now we have 3 quarters times 3t minus 6 in parentheses equals 9. So let me show you one um, cool way of solving this. And it is to deal with to deal with this 3 quarters, which is kind of complicated in life at the moment. What you can do is multiply by something clever. What, what could you multiply that by to kind of make the 3 quarters go away? How would you make the 3 quarters go away? What is the reciprocal of 3 quarters? The reciprocal is just the same fraction flipped upside down. So if I flip 3 quarters upside down, I get 4 over 3. Right? So one cool thing I can do is multiply both sides by the reciprocal and then your problems will go away in this equation. It's just a, a little trick. So, and I'll show you, like, you know, 4 times 3, that gives you 12, and 3 times 4, that gives you 12. So this is actually 12 over 12, or 1, right? So what we have is basically 1 times 3t minus 6, okay? And now what's 9 times 4 thirds? Well, you can write 9 as 9 over 1. And you can do this. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 9 goes 3 times. And what's 3 times 4? That's 12. So what you have is, and if you multiply the 1 in, I mean, you just have 3t minus 6 equals 12, don't you? Right? So but the, the big trick of this question is multiplying both sides by the reciprocal. And now we just go ahead and solve for t. So to get t in its own, t has been multiplied by 3 and then 6 is being subtracted. To get t in its own, the nice thing to do is get rid of subtract 6 at first. How would you get rid of subtracting 6? You would add 6 to both sides, right? And that gives you 3t equals, what's 12 plus 6? 18, right? And then, how would you undo multiplying by 3? Divide by 3 on both sides. And that gives us t equals, what's 18 over 3? 6, right? And because this problem was a little long, I think we should probably check our answer. So if you were ever to check any answer, any equation, all you have to do is substitute the answer in to the original equation and see if both sides turn out to be the same thing. So if I substitute 6 in for t in the original equation, okay, then I'll get 3 quarters times 3 times 6, 18 minus 6 equals 9. 3 quarters times 18 minus 6, 12 equals 9. And that's the same as 12 over 1. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 12 goes 3 times. What's 3 times 3? That's 9 equals 9. So both sides are the same. The equation worked out. I must have got the right answer, right?